and bought like a, a 24 pack of uh, uh, of Red Bull and just smuggled it back home. And we felt like, I mean, it could have been Coke. We felt the same and we were sweating and then people couldn't care less, at least not the people at the border. <laughs> So you were teasing about what you've been doing. I know. I don't feel like it was a very fair tease because it wasn't that exciting. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> what, what has he I mean, cut to offer? Is it ever? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if we're you, if we're honest, how interesting I mean, is it? Just, I mean, just for me personally, you mean all my stories? Is that what you're getting at? Or? No, I'm getting at all our stories. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. How interesting is it really? I mean, could you <laughs> could you miss a week and still live with it? <laughs> yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> The ones we have, it's not been a problem. <laughs> no, on the anyway, on Saturday I had a very, very exciting day. I got hoodwinked into going to my mother in law's and working for free all day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh, I, I know. I wish I knew a gardener that would work an entire day for free. That's hey, that sounds like a good deal. It was only two hours gardening. Yeah. Yeah, the rest was doing housey stuff. You have to wait until someone can marry one of your daughters. So it's going to be a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Actually, when me and Michelle got married in her the, the father's speech at the reception, he said, I've got two sons, one's a chef, and didn't even mention the other one. He said, so glad, so happy to have somebody useful coming to the family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sick burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear! But no, I um, no. It was two hours gardening, so I cut a hedge for her, took a top off a hedge, and then um, fitted a kitchen light, and then did some what felt like proper woodworking, which was oh, exciting. You know? Nice. So it was, she had two bits of um, solid wood worktop in the kitchen that had gone out of line, and we removed those got some slots in them, put some biscuits in and jointed them back together. And that's it. That's my proper woodworking. That's it. <laughs> I mean, biscuits and epoxy. I mean, uh, I know. <laughs> going full Blacktail Studios here. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Do we do we even know you? What what have you done to Glenn? <laughs> I'm going to leave all of you behind on subscribers, especially you, Ross, very quickly now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gonna start making uh, epoxy river pallet tables for like uh, fifty thousand dollars a pop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. you do that. <laughs> I'm gonna put biscuits in them as an extra bonus. <laughs> I mean, it's. Well, I guess it is on brand. I mean, you're you're an Englishman, so putting biscuits in is like, yeah, of course it does, but. <laughs> Biscuits just feels like a poor man's domino nowadays, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. it is. I mean, it's it's ridiculous though. I mean, the the pricing is just like you can price it as such because you can, and people are still buying it. But I mean, it's not like it is a totally different ballpark when it comes to mechanics or tool wise. It's I mean, it's, it's basically an end router with a vibrator on it, so it just makes <laughs> those uh, yeah. domino-shaped holes instead of the the round biscuits one. I mean, it's not... I mean, probably make one in your shed for half so the just, price. We just need love only to make <laughs> yeah. routers now they're doing. <laughs> and then you get it in discreet brown packages. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure that it's the right uh, client to get the right yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm a but... tall pervert. <laughs> Isn't the, the, <laughs> that's, the patent that's running a, out? Sorry, for Festool, the patent for the for the Domino isn't that running out for Festool? Is it that old? I think so. Hmm. Someone mentioned it that was this year or next year if they didn't do something. Yeah, Maybe I think so. Hmm. You're gonna be the first person to get a Bosch Domino then. <laughs> I mean, if or a Makita one for you, KJ. I mean, nah. if they made one. <laughs> I'll take one for free. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Laura's video, Laura Cam's video this week, she made a good use of the uh, Domino. Did you see that? I made no. the uh, strap. Uh, 
yeah, she made a roof rack for a for a truck bed, didn't she? And then uh, put the use the domino to make the uh, strap holes, so she can yeah. put the tie tie down straps on. I thought that was brilliant. Oh, yeah. yeah, I hope she doesn't put too much force on those uh, straps because then I think it's yeah. gonna <laughs> break those off rather quickly. <laughs> but it looks really good. It does look good. That's all that's important. It's all yeah. about the looks. <laughs> but yeah. I feel I've seen the intro to that video three times now, so hopefully she doesn't. <laughs> if I see her, see her cut that that wood one more time, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <know. laughs> no, but yeah, it's... Yeah, but that, that being said, though, after the, the Just the Talking video, and then, of course, the next... Is it two videos since? I haven't watched them because it's like, nope, I'm I'm not watching this uh, Ruth thingamabob. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm waiting for her to to make something else. Do you think yeah. she, you know, that truck, the truck canopy that she found? Do you think she's taken that back to the side of the street now and just dumped it again? Or, yep, yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> Just wait and see if hers works first. <laughs> yeah. She realized that someone was looking for it, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, I've seen a lot of videos lately, and it looks like that's just the way you do it in the States. I mean, you just leave things at the curb. Ah, don't want it, just put it outside and it will be gone. And I'm not sure that if it's a good thing or if it's just like, I mean, I have stuff outside our house all the time. And if it were in the States, I mean, I would have everything inside because it would be getting nicked left and right so <laughs> I dropped my daughter off at dance tonight at uh, dance class and as I was coming back through the village where the dance class is there's um, a house there and there was two ovens outside now a couple of years ago I went by that exact position and there was a fridge outside which I brought home and we put in the cake rig cleaned it up it was in perfect working order and was a really good fridge and I went by there today and thought they do. They throw good stuff away. <laughs> Should I pick those ovens <laughs> up for the future? <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's. A, let's, let's, for God's sake, hope they never move until that <laughs> yeah. day when you break that. So you just bring it back in their yard <laughs> yeah. and it's just like, isn't that the one we threw away seven years ago? <laughs> this is fucking freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Time jumped. <laughs> yeah. Now it smells of frosting. Hmm. Yeah. We'll put a note on it. <laughs> Thank you. Send me well. <laughs> I definitely should pick the ovens up then just to fuck with them further, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh. Seven years, all the rubbish just turns back up again in the house. <laughs> That's a long con. <laughs> yeah. But then again, I mean, if you. Uh... I mean, if, if someone catch you doing it, then you're going to get blamed for everything disappearing. And is that something you... Uh, do you want to be that guy? Well, we talked about wood shops in prisons last week, didn't we, sir? So. <laughs> yeah, you made yeah, it sound yeah. more appealing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think they let you make your whatever you want, and you're probably not allowed to film it either. Mm, oh, just, that would just make not. me more productive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why can't you make what you want? Have you been well, in there? I, guess, have you I, mean, <laughs> I guess that depends on what what you want to make, perhaps. Yeah, yeah and I, I think you, usually A people pe 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 <laughs> people in jail are those the, the the people you really want to have make things they want. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what they want got them there in the first place. So maybe you want to put some guidelines on them. <laughs> uh, true. True. So that got me thinking actually this week. Um, the zombie knives and the Rambo knives and stuff have just been outlawed in this country this week. They have? They have. And if you're found with one, if you own one or make one, it's uh, straight to prison. <laughs> what, why? Yeah. What's because the, what's the been, reasoning? They've been used in a lot of uh, crime, basically. But so has the carpet knives. Yeah, well. I don't know. You have to have a word with the government on this one, but um, I just, you know, just wondered. You know, people like dies in every film and things like that that make the odd creative knife and stuff. I mean, yeah, are they just going to have to call them kitchen knives from now on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
that might be a stretch, especially his, his latest one, the, the three-sided one. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did notice he had a sail on the other day. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, but he's been complaining a long time that YouTube isn't paying anymore, so... Yeah. I mean, I just... it, yeah, and he has the uh, thing as well that he has uh, four videos lined up on YouTube ready to be published at all time. So he's like wow. a month ahead in content. Oh, gosh. Could mm. you ever do that, Glenn? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is he full-time YouTuber? Uh, I think he's... I mean, he's, I think he's part-time YouTuber, part-time knife maker. Right. I mean, if I, I was so a full-time just... YouTuber, I would probably be able to, but <laughs> I still wouldn't do it. I mean, no, I, I think mean... Yeah. I think I could physically make the videos, but I, as soon as I'd made them, I'd want to publish them, and that would be the hard bit. I'd just <laughs> say, publish, publish, publish. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You couldn't restrain yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I have a planned schedule and that sort of thing. Yeah. Ooh, that's <laughs> that's one to fuck with your mind. Like, all right, make a video but never publish it. You just upload it but you never put it on publish, and you're like, let's <laughs> let it sit there. I mean, it would drive you crazy. I mean, I would be in an asylum within a fortnight. <laughs> I mean, if you could do that. Like, oh, I, what was that one I stumbled over yesterday? I'm dead video that someone made someone who has had a severe cancer so we made a, a video of him saying more or less goodbye to his watchers and followers and, oh. and and told his guys to publish it when when he was gone oh, that's that's kind of grim but yeah, yeah but that's, that's also a video it's a, it's a bit cool isn't it to make the video yeah. in yeah sure. and you, you can make a new one every year and add to it <laughs> yeah that's the thing still though. here i mean <laughs> Let's say you get the death sentence uh, and then just like, all right, I'm going to make 20 videos uh, and then have them auto publish like uh, 10 years uh, ahead. Yeah, I mean, into the future. That, that's trippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm sorry, we, we need to double back to knives. I mean, oh, I. That Rambo knife. When I was a kid, well, yeah. that was the, that, that was the, was the holy yeah. grail, yeah. and it's a useless knife. Um, uh, it, it's 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 not a. Uh, someone might useless. Disagree, it's but got a yeah. compass in the top of the handle. <laughs> yeah, and it has a saw inside the handle, which everyone yeah. loses at some point, and mm. and that's the thing, though the the utilitarian aspect of it, really, like ooh, and it's a big knife and. Of course, as you, <laughs> you already know, big fan of Crocodile Dundee, so yeah, big knives. <laughs> but, and I still like, oh, I would still want it, but it's a rubbish knife. I would never use it. I, and I, I, I'm not the kind of, I, I, having a knife on the wall on display will never happen. So it's like, I still want it, but I would just chuck it in a drawer and never use it. So it's, I'm conflicted. <laughs> yeah. There's a, um... Jack knives and uh, flick knives have been illegal in this country for as long as I can remember. Yeah. But uh, when I was yeah. in France, you could buy those there, and I just thought, I just really want one of those. <laughs> yeah. Not to ever use, but just just imagine opening a box and just pressing your flick knife and open your box. That's yeah. really cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's one thing I always wanted one of those as well, just for the mechanics of it, and then. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but at some point someone told that nunchucks are also illegal. And hell, those you can make by yourself. So I, I cut a old broom in pieces and I got some chains. So I made nunchucks and of course I hit myself uh, <laughs> way too hard at several occasions. But it's like, I'm yep. sticking it to the man. I'm a eight year old with a nunchuck. <laughs> like The biggest hazard is to myself. <laughs> yeah. I actually owned a jackknife in my early teens and managed to buy one from another lad and <laughs> had that for some time. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I remember, I think... Ooh, was I... I was 15 or 16, I think, and at that time, Red Bull has just arrived, but it was illegal in Norway, but you could buy it in Sweden. So me and a friend, <laughs> we took the train to Sweden 
and bought like uh, a 24 pack of uh, of Red Bull and just <laughs> smuggled it back home. And we felt like, I mean, it could have been Coke. We felt the same and we were sweating and then people couldn't care less, at least not the people at the border, <laughs> like two kids smuggling <laughs> yeah. a Red Bull. But yeah. Did you sell them? <laughs> no, no, we, we drank yeah. them. And of course, uh, we did not take the train to Sweden <laughs> lightly. So, of course, you had to space them out as well. You couldn't just <laughs> chug them all willy nilly. So, I'm like, all right, if you 24, if you every other day, then you have a month and a half. <laughs> it's like you have to be mass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old <coughs> times. <laughs> I realized, uh, or I got an email just a couple of days ago, that YouTube Premium is upping the price with over fifty percent. Yeah, that I feels, saw that. That feels good. What does you, what does YouTube Premium cost? Uh, it's like seventeen, eighteen quid, I think, for the family packet a month. Wow! And now it's up to twenty-seven, perhaps. <laughs> Is that just to watch YouTube without adverts? Yeah, for the entire family, and you can uh, use it. Uh, so you can download. Features. Download works better, and oh, you okay. got uh, uh, you can play it with your screen uh, uh, off and that sort of thing. Yeah. Up until recently, um, you could download your own videos. You can't even do that now. I can't download my videos now, which is annoying. Hmm. I haven't you tried. So. Oh, no. I haven't tried. Yeah, you never used to be able to download shorts, but you used to be able to download other videos. Hmm. I think I downloaded one of yours once in a while for something we were doing. It's about with that. I can't remember what now. I've just been me dicking about. Yeah, that's, that's weird. The question is, if they're... If they are charging more, is that because they, they want to pay creators more? <laughs> <laughs> Where would you get that ID? <laughs> yeah. oh. They probably want to uh, lower the partnership program to uh, 820 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's>, uh, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm already a junior partner anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I actually I think I have thirty plus subscribers the last week, which is nice. Oh, yeah. So it's it's mm -hmm. slowly creeping, but still needs a fifty plus to break the four thousand mark. And of course, it's it's in the small numbers. It's it's hard when you reach four thousand or whatever, and it's like ooh yeah. And the next morning you wake up, oh you lost two subscribers, so you're back. So you need to overshoot it with some margin. That's right. Actually, last week when we were talking, we left it off as you'd had the uh, the proof for the paper, but obviously that's that's been released now and became an article, didn't it, and a video? Yeah, and a video as well. So yeah, that's <laughs> real, real good fun. And yeah, you know, cat is out of the box. Everybody knows now, or not everybody, but I mean, of course, uh, working in a big company, they are subscribing to this service whenever the company is mentioned in the news, they get a copy of the article. And of course, it was posted on the internal web page as well. And because it just slipped out of my mouth and I mentioned where I worked. So yeah, now everybody at work knows. And of course, all our friends in school and kindergarten and so on, because they have read the news. So yeah. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, any comments? Uh, yeah, all positive, and I, yeah. I think it's like one of the the teachers at school yesterday when I picked up the oldest kid is like, "Hey, watch your videos, cool." I'm like, oh, nice, nice, but it's, but it's, <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not used to people I don't know <laughs> like commenting. I don't know what <laughs> to say. I mean, this is way to say, "Oh, thank you," but of course, it feels awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and is this where the subscribers came from? You coming out? Yes, I'm. I'm guessing so, and probably also from somewhere else. But you could see that. Of course, you could see a little spike in the padlock video, and it, and it followed. Of course, the, during the night time here in Norway, there there were no views, so of course it was in the yeah. daytime. So it's just locals watching the videos. But of course, then. 
all my videos propose one video and it's usually one I choose. It's probably Hellcorder or something or whatever is most relevant to the actual video. And then of course I have the let the algorithm choose the best one. And of course, so I had a spike on all the Hellcorder videos and the amplifiers and so on. And oh, cool. it is kind of weird. And I think we talked about it last week that instrument seems to do good. So I have an yeah. instrument video coming up soon. So I just mm -hmm. need to order some parts. All my instrument builds have done far better than anything else I make. That's yeah. for sure. Too bad I can't make an instrument. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not feeling motivated to make another one right now, KJ. To be fair, which well, is but... really hard when you know that that might get you to the <laughs> thousand subscribers. But Howard, uh, how pleased were you that you have your uh, wall of fame with your old projects when you had a new team over? Yeah. Because I mean, that reel that they made of you just pointing at stuff. This is a this I made, and this is a this I made. That was bloody awesome. Yeah, whiskey cannon and snow. Uh, sorry, whiskey dispenser and snow cannon was the only thing I uh, understood in the video. Yeah. <laughs> and the re the recorder alarm clock that yeah. you weren't allowed to have in the, in yeah, the that, bedroom. That's, that, that's, so that's an old video and yeah. it hasn't had any views in a long time. But that has got uh, quite a few views uh, the last couple of days. So it's, it's just because of the newspaper. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the, it's just such a brilliant thing because everyone understands what it is and what a bad, bad IT it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the weirdest thing was when, when they showed up and the guy, like the, the cameraman, like, oh yeah, yeah, but, but we are, we're filming. And then we just take some still pictures at the end. So, all right, you're filming as well. And it's like when you have someone professional in, but still you're used at filming yourself so i mean you can't really not think about it anymore because i mean you, whatever you do you're thinking all right this angle is better because i can fit the camera there so of course when he was working <laughs> around in the workshop and i like should i stand over there because it's easier to get a good overview over there how wide angle do you have on your lens and i just like all right but he's a professional you're not so just let him tell you where to stand and not so <laughs> and it, it's kind of good having someone to just all right stand over there and do that and of course uh getting that little taste of having your own cameraman that ooh. if i ever win the lottery and they ask what are you going to use the money for i'm going to pay a cameraman to follow me around in my workshop <laughs> that's going to sound weird to anyone but yeah so what's your next video kj what can we expect next from you and when uh, do you think it's going to be done? The next video is the fixing my mistakes yeah. uh, video, and that is almost done. I actually managed to do some editing uh, yesterday evening when I felt a little better. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm in the. I have some clips to import, and then it's in the. Uh, tweaking, tweaking until I can't stand it anymore, uh, and that can take uh, from uh, a day to two weeks, <laughs> depending okay. on how anal I get about some details. That's some patience, that is. Ah, <laughs> uh, you could call it patience. You could call it uh, some kind of letter combination, perhaps and stubbornness and yeah, attention to detail. I tell myself it is, but who cares, really? We all, we all know it's a mental issue, don't we? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> staring at a transition. Oh, this, uh, I had to fix this. It has to be perfect. No, I mean, no one is going to... I mean, 30, it's only 30% perhaps watching this far. Who cares? <laughs> so, yeah. Has uh, switching to DaVinci made things worse for you? Because you've got more, more buttons and more things to press now. <sighs> Both yes and no. I mean, it has broadened my abilities, if that's what you say, because now I can actually do some of the stuff that I only could think about and not be able to do yeah. beforehand. But it's still this stuff I can't do. Um, so yeah, I have the ability to make some stuff. Uh, but I'm, it's easy. Yeah, I'd say I think you win some you lose some so it's more or less 
the same amount of of time spent, but I think the end result is better. Yeah, I think your videos have gone up a notch this past year or so. Yeah, definitely. That's good to hear that I'm not <laughs> regressing at least. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> Because it did, could, could be possible. <laughs> yeah, and that's As I the, say in, my, in, in the start, of, in this next video, that it has been a lot of mistakes in my videos lately. And <laughs> might have been rushing some of them. and Might have had an increased uh, video schedule because it actually helps when you have two people nagging on you to publish videos <laughs> constantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that's the thing, though. I mean, the the last video I put out was uh, yeah, it feels like a placeholder, and I also said it's a it's a poor substitute for what people really want to see. But I also have a new project just sitting outside the garage door, so I just needed to film the hell quarter so I can get it off the workbench because I'm. Just have to clear space for the other project, and I haven't felt this for a new project in a very long time. And I, I'm really looking forward to starting it, and I'm hoping it won't take too much time. But yeah, putting that engine into that toy tractor is gonna be a blast. I mean, even if it's <laughs> even if the the result is gonna tank, it's gonna yeah. I really look forward to doing that. Some. Uh, yeah, cutting and melting plastic and uh, yeah, <laughs> working with a petrol engine. That looks like a lot of fun. That project does. Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous. I, while I've got this piece of chestnut in the workshop, I have this thing. I can't start something unless I've finished the, the previous project. So I'm going to be a week or two now, and it's going to drive me crazy because it's not even good content. I might get a couple of shorts out of it, but that's it. Yeah, it's definitely not a full video. That's also the thing when when I take this project in, I don't really. I need to have some part spins to put things in for storage until I can <laughs> weld them back on again. But there will be some angle grinding work, and I can't really do that inside without setting everything on fire. So it, I need to be able to do it outside as well. And we are cutting the season tight, and the question is. <laughs> If I can't finish it on time, and I still have a lot of welding grinding left, and I can't really go outside because there's snow, that it, then it's going to be stuck there inside my already crowded workshop, waiting for <laughs> spring. So that's a. Uh... I mean, you can grind in the snow as long as it. I mean, when it's below like ten, fifteen degrees, then you're you lose the sensation in your fingers after a half an hour, then it's not really safe to do it, but yeah. it can be done. Yeah, it can be, but <laughs> I mean it's there, not there a problem with the sparks flying everywhere because it's in the snow. It's yeah, really the, tough this, when this... you lose pieces of material though. Yeah, but the sparks in my heart will be gone. I mean, it's, I'm going to be miserable outside. And I want to enjoy the project. So. <laughs> I only have one hope, and that's I hope it looks better than that bloody long reach hedge trimmer you've just been messing with and Frankenstein together. You know, I got to think about that. I, I have a 3D printer now, so I'm going to make a, 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 a cover for that uh, surgically opening. Uh, but. Talking about number one crude mistakes, um, I, I got this new ignition coil module, and it, it they never said on the the page how long the uh, the coil lead was, and it was a bit shorter than the original. And like, oh no! And then I fit it on, and I actually got it to start. So okay, I, I I'm onto something. And then I tried putting the plastic cover back on, and well, it doesn't fit. So I had to mangle that. Um, <laughs> and once I got everything together, I started it up, but it still wouldn't go properly. And then I just realized it's leaking air into the fuel hose from the tank. And like, yeah, did it do this the whole time? Was this the was this the fault? Did I not check that, or did I? I, I can't remember. And 
I haven't spent much money on it, but of course uh, I have been hacking it to bits. But now it's running, and I also fit the the chainsaw attachment. So um, and I actually have a use for that coming up in the garden. So I'm really pleased that it fit. But I mean, it is a properly made attachment for like a hedge trimmer, but. It doesn't feel like a real tool. It feels like a kind of zombie apocalypse <laughs> yeah. tool. And it's, I mean, that long, thin arm, I mean, you, you can't really get a leverage on it. So it's basically just for cutting thin, uh, thin branches. I mean, you can't put any weight on it because if you really want to do that, you just end up breaking the axle. But yeah, looks cool, though. I mean, uh, <laughs> with the harness and everything. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, a four meter Kawasaki version of that. And yeah. um, just the length of it, literally, when you've got four meters up in the air, and you just you just rest it on a branch, and just the weight at that that distance pushes it through bigger branches nicely. But yeah, yeah, you're not quite long enough, is it? <laughs> but I, but yeah, brick but on that, top. that being said, I I have an extension piece, additional one, so I can actually okay. make it even longer. But the question is. I've been wondering, I have just this single-sided sling that I have connected to, but do you have the full body harness for yours? No, mine has a sling, um, and you have to be careful which way you use it, actually, because the exhaust on one side, I have actually melted through a coat by holding it on the wrong <laughs> side. Yeah. Oh, that's warm, that's warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, it's getting a bit nippy, so okay, I'll, I'll switch to the left side now so I can yeah. keep myself. Uh, <laughs> maybe you could route the exhaust in a hose inside your jacket to keep you yeah. warm. That would be. Yeah, I, I've been. I'm um... not that heavy. You don't really need a, a harness, to be fair. No, but it's it's more the annoying of it because it's just, it's chafing on the the shoulders, and I'm thinking when I use it an entire day, it would be nice to have like a double like proper harness and they're not that expensive but yeah it, it gets two hours of use in total every season so it's yeah, <laughs> yeah you probably don't need that <laughs> but of course I, and i haven't googled this but i also thought well i have taken an engine off and used that for the kitchen aid but sometimes it feels like the engine could have been a bit bigger so then of course with that long arm you got a counter lever so how big an engine can i fit to the back of course you can't really lift a v8 engine so you can't really go overboard but <laughs> could you like fit a, a, a 400 cc motorcycle engine could you put 40 horsepower through that <laughs> thing so um, <laughs> probably not but try <laughs> yeah i'm 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 if anyone has a motorcycle engine full, fully operational just laying around, let me know. I'm, I might be in the market. I think, I think the exhaust configuration is going to be an important, play an important part in that. You've got to yeah. get it far enough away so you don't gas yourself out. <laughs> yeah, or make yourself death. Yeah. How did he die? Dirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. That's that's one way of getting yeah. on the news. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's the padlock guy. Oh, he he made a petrol powered what? <laughs> Killed himself? Okay. <laughs> it's more like that's the padlock guy. I didn't realize he was still alive. I thought he'd have killed himself long ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. <laughs> like, no, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're running a little low on energy, and especially KJ. So should we call yeah. it a night? Yeah, doesn't, doesn't, I have nothing it, to add. It doesn't hurt. I have a lot of add to add, but we can do that next week. You well. always have stuff to add. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we like you. On that's my podcast. MO, yeah. <laughs> and that's the good thing about you. <laughs> it's a positive. Yeah, yeah that's the, the, the one positive, yeah. yeah. When you're doing an audio podcast, somebody who likes to talk is a good thing. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> true that, true that. <laughs> All right, then. Bye. 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 <laughs>All right, I'm off <coughs> to uh, 3D printing world. See you next week. So long. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. You can go.